real trial begins. Zadornov was paying my room, board, and tuition, but he has since been captured. I told the man that with no more money from the KGB, I could no longer afford school. He bought my story, and when I said I would be willing to work, he took pity on me and let me stay. For some reason, Miller really pled my case. That was helpful, but the man is still a fool. His men are no better. They think their training makes them strong, but that kind of strength is nothing in the face of true power. And better yet, they wait on me hand and foot, believing I am just a schoolgirl. Looks like I won't be working too hard after all. Just today, while scouting out the living quarters, I saw a group of them in the corner of the deck making a fuss. Going over for a look, I saw they were feeding a kitten. A bunch of grown hard men, and they're the ones acting like schoolgirls. Look, isn't he cute? What is wrong with them? Disgusted, I just nodded and smiled. I must stay in character after all. I indulged their chit-chat for a few moments. Then one of them asked me to give the thing a name. They had just taken it from its mother. I named it Nuke. I improvised some nonsense about how our compassion for living things can help prevent wars. The men gave me a little fish. I held it out in my palm and the kitten happily ate it up. What a pathetic, feeble creature. It sickens me. Ok, une sociopathe finie. Today, Chico invited me to go fishing with the soldiers. I suppose finding one's own food does have its merit, but I prefer not to be involved in such a degrading task. And their prattling on about fishing being fun is nonsense. I'm not here to find playmates. Nevertheless, distasteful as it was, I went along in order to maintain my cover. Chico thrust a fishing pole into my hands, and we went up onto the deck where several soldiers had gathered. They welcomed us warmly. With so few women aboard Mother Base, I'm treated like a princess. No one suspects I am neither a teenager nor a student. It was nice and sunny, with a gentle breeze and waves. As I cast my line and waited for a bite, the soldiers began to ask me all sorts of questions. As always, I answered according to our predefined scenario, feigning a smile. As I sat there feeding them lies, the fish began to bite, and the soldiers began to focus on their prey. Chico had his bait stolen by a fish, and got so angry that he stood up and nearly fell into the sea. Everybody laughed. It almost made me want to join in too. At some point, I got a bite myself. The instant after I felt that first gentle tug, the fish yanked the line with astonishing strength, and I let out a cry of surprise. I thought it was going to be huge. It was my first time fishing, and I was a bit flustered, so the soldier beside me helped by supporting the pole from behind. Reel it in, they shouted. I nodded, turning the handle as fast as I could. I wondered what kind of fish lived below the surface, and thought back to the deep sea dives I had to do as part of training. Those were difficult days, but I remember finding the multicolored fish gliding through the water incredibly soothing. After a hard fight, I pulled it up. To my surprise, it wasn't even half a vara, rather anticlimactic. But I wasn't doing it for fun so I wasn't the least bit disappointed. Nuke was hovering nearby with an expectant look on his face, so I gave the fish to him. All in all, a thoroughly wasted day. Preparations are coming along nicely. No one suspects me of being the one to let Zadarnov out of his cell. Ah, ben voilà. Today, Amanda and I taught Cecile how to make gallo pinto. It is a simple home-cooked dish consisting of black frijoles mixed with arroz. It is well known throughout Central America, not just in Costa Rica. So it is no surprise that a nica like Amanda would be good at making it. But I was raised in the States from a very young age and can hardly even remember my mother's gallo pinto. 
having to make chit chat with that clueless bird lover and this so-called <laughs> revolutionary was excruciating and clueless or not i wanted to be especially careful around cecile the one who actually recorded that tape Thankfully, Miller and his men seem to believe I mistook the tape I found for one my friend made. In any case, one can never be too careful. Anyway, the three of us minced garlic and herbs, then cooked them in a pot with frijoles we'd soaked overnight. While waiting for them to cook, we sauteed onions and arroz in a... Ok, stop Alors, je suis désolé, mais j'ai pas envie d'écouter une fille qui raconte sa vie. Hein. Honnêtement, je vais pas vous infliger ça. Parce que même moi, là, ça me... Ah d'accord, on peut même zoomer pendant les... D'accord, intéressant. Alors, histoire, accéder au record, sélectionner la mission. Alors, normal, difficile. Je m'en moque. Top secret Eyes only. D'accord. Trouver et éliminer deux marines qui se font une réputation d'assassin au Laos puis quitter la zone. D'accord. Bon, on va tester ça. On va enchaîner les missions. Le personnel de Mozormay est constitué de soldats recrutés sur le terrain par Snake et de volontaires ayant choisi de rejoindre l'organisation. Oui, bah oui. En plus de mercenaires et de soldats issus de diverses armées régulières, la MB abrite également des chercheurs et des civils. Ensemble, ils constituent une nouvelle université de l'homme des discriminations liées à l'âge, au sexe, à l'administration, à la survie de pire. D'accord. Eliminate the Renegade Threat. Éliminer la menace des Renegades. Oh. The mission objective is to eliminate two US Marines officials. En plein jour, c'est trop la classe. After the US withdrew its forces. They were a sniper spotter team. In country, they were known as Glass and Palettes. The eye and the finger. I've sent VIs of the targets to your eye droid. Take a good look. Oh là 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 là. Voyez un petit peu. Alors, on. Vous voyez. Enfin, je sais pas si vous verrez. Mais vous, ça fait des amas de pixels, par exemple, sur ses cheveux, sur sa barbe, sur ses. Euh, et le reste, comme ça. Et euh, bon, les vieux sprites de de fleurs, ça, je passerai. Mais voilà, il on, on remarque quand même les... Le problème de ça, c'est que les, les petits défauts qu'il y a sont, sont trop gros et je trouve pas ça... Euh, je trouve pas ça super. Par contre, c'est vrai qu'il n'y a pas à dire, c'est classe quand même. En pleine journée. Euh. Voilà, là quand même, si c'est pas flagrant. Mais bon, faut pas leur en vouloir, hein, c'est quand même... Euh, c'est quand même plutôt classe. Moi j'aime assez. D'ailleurs, pour la version PS3, je ne sais pas si vous avez vu, mais les décors se, se matérialisent, on va dire, au fur et à mesure qu'on bouge pour ne pas surcharger l'écran. Ça, par contre, je trouve ça astucieux. Et je trouve ça intelligent parce que ça permet d'éviter de, de de surcharger l'écran ou de faire des temps de chargement un petit peu chiants. Alors... D'accord. Zone de déplacement... Zone de déplacement. Alors, on va zoomer. Voilà. Donc, là et là. Ouais, d'accord. Alors. Remember, boss. This is a sneaking mission. If you're detected, the targets are bound to take extra precautions. It's crucial that you eliminate the targets quickly and quietly. Do not let the enemy see you. Ouais, et puis surtout que là c'est des missions, enfin c'est une... going on you did an inventory of the armory day before yesterday right yeah hadn't been in there for six months if you're not the gunner you ain't seeing much of that place right you 
think they'd be more careful with firepower like that. It's right in the middle of the base, though. Nobody's getting in there. Still, you never know. Whoa! Ou comment être coupé court? Oh, les personnages sont quand même vachement bien faits. D'accord. That's target B, Palitz, the finger. Apparently he's still finding uses for his skills, even now that he's out of the war. Those nicknames had nothing to do with their skills. It's because the two were less than human. No heart. Just an eye to find their prey and a finger to pull the trigger. Remember their faces. D'ailleurs, euh, je sais que je vous l'avais dit, euh, je vous l'avais dit, pardon, sur la première vidéo, mais euh, Kojima a dit que là... Euh, les personnages nous repéreraient pas de si loin que ça encore pour la version, euh, pour le prologue de Grand de Zero. Mais par contre, pour Phantom Pain, Kojima a dit que les gardes nous repéreraient d'extrêmement loin. Alors, je sais pas si le terme extrême euh, veut dire quelque chose dans le, dans le jargon, mais euh, apparemment, euh, ça, serait, euh, ça serait nettement plus réaliste que d'habitude avec le, le célèbre champ de vision des, des, des gardes d'MGS, comme on les connaît. Et que là, il rendrait un petit peu les situations beaucoup plus, plus intenses et plus réelles. Donc, j'imagine pas si dans des, euh, dans des phases où il y a des genres de... Bah déjà, voilà, on a un exemple. C'en est un ça D'accord. C'était quand même pas le sniper que j'ai vu. Là. Ah d'accord Snake, the targets made it outside oh. the mission area. The mission's a failure. Ah ouais, donc c'est quand même très punitif hein. C'est quand même très punitif. Donc ça permet de jouer quand même nettement plus tactique que d'habitude. Ouais, c'est intelligent. Ça permet un petit peu de d'apprendre à gérer un petit peu tout ça. Non, ça n'a pas marché. Ah aussi. D'accord. Remember boss. This is a sneaking mission. If you're detected, the targets are bound to take extra precautions. It's crucial that you eliminate the targets. Comme il loin. Do not let the enemy see you. Et pour Kojima, ça c'est rien. <rire>
De toute façon, si les mecs c'est des snipers. Hein. Hein ouais, c'est impressionnant d'où ils voient. Hein. qui se prend. I've sent VIs of the targets to your iDroid. Take a good look. Open the menu tab, then select mission info. Qui est-ce qui m'a vu là Oh, lui il va se pointer, je le sens bien. Je m'en doutais. Wouah, c'est quand même impressionnant de jouer en pleine journée. Hein. Ah, finalement je peux peut-être la voir. dans la zone, d'accord. Une fois qu'on l'a en main, le jeu, ça va, hein, honnêtement. Bon, par contre... Alors, ce que je vais faire, avant de me faire troller... Ouais bon, oui, ils se déplacent ici, ça ok. Target A, Glass, the eye. He was stationed in that prison camp before being sent to Laos. The place is their old haunt. D'accord. That's target B, Palitz, the finger. Apparently, he's still finding uses for his skills, even now that he's out of the war. Those nicknames had nothing to do with their skills. It's because the two were less than human. No heart. Just an eye to find their prey and a finger to pull the trigger. Remember their faces. Bon, mais journal de Paz, on s'en fout, on les a déjà eu. Donc. Euh... Ah, c'est quoi ça? Hmm. D'accord. Ok. D'accord. Sympa. Sur la carte, ok. Ok, ici. Ici. Donc. Une fois qu'on la connaît par cœur, la base après. Tiens. Montre-moi ton visage, toi. Je sais pas si c'est lui. De toute façon, quand il dit éliminer, je vais éliminer, moi je vais les éliminer. <rire> ah merde, je sais pas si c'est lui. L'ennemi n'est plus dans la zone. Pas l'air d'y avoir tant de monde que ça. Euh Job. The 
clients or KGB contacts from my Columbia days. Don't worry, they had nothing to do with Zadornov. They lost a lot of comrades to the eye and the finger. The NVA lost high-ranking staff too, but also their families, their children. To the east, the two were a reason to be afraid of the dark. Their extradition to face trial is even on the table in the peace talks. Now that they're out of Laos, the two are enjoying a relaxing vacation in a loophole, one surrounded by minefields and barbed wire. Even if the war ends, the East fears their return. For our clients, it will only truly be over when these two are dead. Ah, donc faut vraiment les tuer, quoi. D'accord, donc je soupçonne quand même que ce soit lui. Comment il l'a regardé <rire> Garde ça ou pas J'ai vu quoi quand j'ai fait ça J'ai appuyé sur R1 ou je sais pas quoi J'entends un véhicule. Non, donc ça, c'est pas lui. Ah, il y a un camion. Ça me dit pas où il est ça wow. Wow. Ah il y a une Jeep là d'ac... Oh sérieux Ah elle est balaise celle-là 